Have you ever had a day where things don't go right? This is now like the fourth time that I've tried to get through this video and I was doing so well the last time. And because I'm using my phone, I got some junk call about a car warranty that I don't have that interrupted me when I was almost done. I, I don't know where to begin with that. But we're resetting. <laughs> we're calling it another, a fresh start. A new day. It's not a new day. It's a, a new video. Even though it's the same video that I've already done. Uh, I quit. Um, project fan update. That is why we're here today. That is our goal. To get you guys the information. To tell you what I've been doing well on tell you what I've not been doing well on, to have kick my desk with my foot and shake my camera. Yes. So let's start at the very beginning. I'm going to go through this quickly since I've talked about it before. <laughs> and this time I will get through all of the products, unlike last month where I realized that I had skipped over a product and it shouldn't really matter that much except it was this one so my hair cream and I at some point had rubbed off the mark that I had put on there for last month so I have no idea where this was last month um, and I can't go back and fix it so we're just gonna muddle on ahead um, so somewhere in between this red mark and this purple mark was last month so I just put a green question mark because I'm feeling, um, well, sassy, I think would be the right word for it. Um, still a good hair cream. I'm making good progress. I'm no longer using it during the day because it is humid enough um, that I don't really need it to keep frizz away. So what I've been doing is applying it at night, um, braiding my hair up in a, like a little tiny braid because my hair's still not that long. Um, and that keeps it off of my face when I'm sleeping and stuff. Um, and my hair feels super soft in the morning. So we're getting through it. Still like it. We'll continue to use it. Perfectly good product. My soap is done. Um, I'm going to replace it with something non-soap like. I did start a new, new body wash um, that I might talk about in another video at some point. Um, I wish... <sighs> regrets. I wish that my husband had not gotten to this. I'm not mad at him. And I'm going to use a soap dispenser that most of this bottle is sitting in. Because it's just smelled really good and clean and I'm not mad. Um, I still have my lip balm. It says Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit. Here's my fancy sheet where I have it marked down. We've now used from there to there in total. Um, I can't find a ruler, so I don't know exactly how much that is. But I like it. I like the grapefruit um, flavor, scent. I think it's actually grapefruit oil, which I know for some people citrus oils can be, um, yep, it has grapefruit seed oil, can be aggravating. It doesn't bother me. So I'm going to keep using it. I am trying so hard not to lose it. Um, so that I can keep it in this project without embarrassment. Um, I have officially retired to the Pharmacy Bright On Clay Mask because it's now been, I think, over a month since I stopped using it. And I have yet to have one of the painful breakouts that I was having while I was using it, which to me tells me it's a pretty good indication that something in that product was bothering my skin. And I refuse to deal with that, period. It was uncomfortable. It was embarrassing having to wear a face mask and then have like a thing on your face that hurt when it touched the mask was not good. So um, I'm going to continue with the Good Molecules Niacinamide Toner. Um, we were at the green mark. We're now at the purple mark. So we're making good progress and I've really sped up a little bit because I've started using this twice a day um, because it has been kind of hot and sticky. I've started um, washing my face or at least rinsing it with cool water 
um, at the end of the night just to kind of wash away the day. Um, and the toner is really nice to put on afterwards. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, to add back a little bit of hydration. So I'm really enjoying it. You know, I thought, I was like, wow, this is a huge bottle. And, and realistically, I'm, you know, only like a fifth of the way through it. Um, but it's really easy to use. It absorbs in quickly. It doesn't bother my skin at all. I think it actually kind of calms it a little bit. I haven't really noticed any like magical difference, but um, you know, with something that seems pretty mild, I wouldn't expect it. But it is nice to have something to kind of put on my face at the end of the day. The other thing that I've really been enjoying now that it's humid is the uh, Belief Aqua Bomb Mist. Um, so this had originally been hanging out at work. It was a two pack, so I finished up one bottle. This is where I am on the second one. I might actually pour it off like the last little bit into this new one because it's kind of hard to get the last bit out of the spray bottle while trying to tip it in order to get it to the straw and also to aim it at your face. Um, it's just physics. Um, but it is, since it's such a fine mist and it's a really nice hydrating um, toner serum mist, it's nice when you're feeling hot um, or you're feeling dry or you need a, a reset moment. That's what I kind of like it for. Um, so yes, continuing to use that. Um, also along the lines of moisture, but in a non aqueous way is the herbivore emerald oil. Um, I'm making good progress on this. I'm mixing in two to three drops with my lotion every morning. Um, it is a very nice oil um, and my skin is not super oily so it's really nice to have that extra bit of oil just to keep my skin from t feeling tight um, and dry throughout the day. So since we mentioned that the vitamin C mask was gone I have decided to replace it with something very challenging for me. Um, I bought this product about, well I didn't check Sephora to find out when I bought it. But we're going to say four years ago. Now, it's a powder. And I've kept it cool and dry. So I am not worried about it expiring or anything growing on it, even though it is a powder. Um, so the biggest concern with spoilage of powders would be mold. Mold need moisture. They need food. And they need time. It's definitely got food in it because it's a powder. Um, it definitely has had time. But because I've kept it cool and dry and our climate has low relative humidity, except in the summer, but even then it's not super high, I'm not worried about contamination. Bacteria will not grow in it. If they were there, they're probably long dead because I haven't used this in a long time and they were mine. Um, so that's our micro moment. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. It's a yellow powder. It's baked in the pan. It's very finely milled. Um, it's, they say that it's slightly luminescent. I don't know that it is. It's not like in any way a highlighter. Um, I think when I bought this, my original thought was that the yellow might help tone down the redness of my face without causing that really strange grayness that um, green color correctors do. Um, I have the dim light version of this that I actually use as like a bronzer because I'm pretty pale um, and I'm hoping that I can just kind of use this as like an everyday overall face powder. Um, not that I necessarily need one but it's sitting in my drawer and I should do something with it right. Um, I tried to weigh this. So it's supposed to be 10 grams of product. My kitchen scale only does whole grams and it was at 70 grams. Um, I will try to take a picture of it and figure out maybe how to embed it. I don't remember what side. I don't, I don't edit things. So I don't know what side it would go in if I was going to be like, here's a picture. Um, nor do I actually know how to do that. So I'd have to figure that out. Um, or if I remember, I may try it and haul this into work and use our analytical balance. 
um, that would give us slightly more resolution in terms of how much product I have left. Okay, so one, two. That's all six products. So we're doing well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. We'll just keep it rolling along. I like six products to keep track of. If I did any more, this would be a complete fail. I have yet another camera angle. Maybe we'll do something different. Uh, next week, I'm going to possibly have a special guest. Um, not gonna say who. She knows who she is. Uh, her family knows who she is. <laughs> um, but that'll be kind of fun. Uh, so, hope everyone's doing well. Keep panning along, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.